The southwest arm of the People's Democratic Party has joined the push for the resignation of the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Yorcha Ayu. Notable southwest members of the PDP told on Saturday uh, that with the All Progressive Congress picking its presidential candidate from the southwest in the person of Bola Tinubu, the PDP would also need an influential politician from the region to be the party's chairman. There are demands from the camp of Governor Nyesung Wike of River State for Ayu to resign as the party's chairman. The demand was among the conditions given by the Wike team, who is still being aggrieved over Atiku's refusal to pick him as a running mate. Already, Wike and Atiku have begun meeting with a view to ensuring that a compromise is reached before the commencement of its campaigns next month. Also speaking to a former deputy national chairman of the PDP chief body, George, he said, I, you must leave immediately in the spirit of fairness. Well, joining us to discuss this is John Schwaibu. He's a member of the People's Democratic Party. Mr. Schwaibu, it's good to have you join us. Thank you. Good to have me. Good to have me. I'm happy to be on the side with you. The privilege. Great. Uh, what exactly is going on within the party uh, at such a, a time where... Um, the party should be trying to put his house in order. It seems that um, things are falling apart. Can you paint us a picture of what's really going on? Well, uh, thank you once again, thank you for that. Well, people uh, are falling apart. I must, I must tell you that. Because people are going to the part in a house is going to land in Canada, how it works out in the crisis. And of course, we, we must understand that uh, in any organization, there will be misunderstanding, there will be crises that should be resolved. That's why we also have what we call crisis management. So, what is happening in PDP is not something that's uh, akin only to PDP, but it's something that you can say that has to be a group of people or an association, you know, or a positive party. So, it's not strange as it were. Uh, PDP is a party that has its own organic mechanism that resolves our issues. Yes, we can't take it away that we have to be right interest at cost. Uh, a politician or politics is all about interest. The interest could be positive or negative. So that is what we must understand. For a political party to come involved, they, 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 they come together as a group of people based on sneak action and all that then the former the party which transcended the pre-communal time from uh in the century even europe and america so the crisis we have in, in pdp is not something that cannot be resolved and i can tell you i guarantee you is the process of resolving this issue is ongoing and i can tell you pdp will come stronger than that it's it's interesting to know that the people concerned about this is actually opposite, the ruling party. I guess they are scared. No wonder they keep going to uh, Podaco, trying to bring up headlines that uh, kind of portray PDP as a crisis ridden party. So for us, as uh, the party, we, we, we're strong. We're working out our challenges, which I believe we've overcome. Yeah. You know, so APC will, will have a shock of their life. They've ended up uh, turning this nation into a nation of crisis, a nation where people are afraid of their shadows, a, a nation where people go hungry. So they should not concentrate on PDP's issues because we're coming out strong and there's no problem, I can guarantee you, in PDP that cannot be resolved. It's, it's just an issue of, um, of uh, family, family challenges and it should be resolved, I can guarantee you. It's very interesting that you... Um... I mean, it's a very fine and dandy way to put it, but um, it's interesting when you accuse the um, ruling party of being the one who's spreading um, this rumor. But then I'm beginning to wonder, Chief Buddy George is a, a, a senior member of your party. And this, he was quoted to say that, of course, the party chairman needs to resign in the interest of fairness. Are you trying to tell me that Chief Bode George, who is well known as a PDP member, uh, has some leanings with the APC? Is that the accusation that you are making? Because these are members of your party speaking up against the chairman, meaning that they are obviously mm -hmm. um, not happy with how things are going. But I'm very interested in how the APC comes to play in this. Well, uh, 
Paul Chibodi, a well respected board uh, member, a beauty member, someone well respected in the party, someone that we know we hold in high esteem as a party man. Yes, he's bound to expose his own, uh, have his own feelings about what is going on. And I can tell you, the chairman who is a party man, who is uh, strong, who is uh, reasonable, responsible, will do the need when the time comes. Of course, we have the candidate who is from the north, and uh, it, it, it just behoves on us to do what is needful when the time arises for us to have a change in, uh, in the structure of the party. So it's not something strange. For, all, for me, I, I look at it as something that we should concentrate more on what is the challenges ahead of us. Let's come as a family to work this thing out, get the center, and of course, PDP being known uh, uh, as it is, knows what to do to ensure that the right thing is done so we can have a swap to the south when the time arises. So I, I guess, rather than hitting all the policy, we should be able to resolve our, our issues right now. For which body George, yes, he's, he's right. We have a candidate from the north, and we need someone from the south to steer the ship of the party, which I believe uh, the, the neck meeting that was postponed will address that. So I will go deep into it. I believe they will address it, and we can be assured that at the end of the day, the party will come out stronger. So, but PAPC is latching on stuff like this. Headline, headlines they bring out, you see nation, PDP, this, PDP, that. I can assure you, they're only catching the wind. They will never catch PDP nothing. Let me, let's, let's backtrack a bit and talk about the um, option of the governor of Delta State as the your party's flag bearer's um, running mate. I mean, this is obviously also at the center of some of the things that would be discussed at the next meeting. What do you say that um, the um, aggrieving or the grievances of the um, governor WK team is at the core of the problem that the PDP is facing today? And, and what are your thoughts on, on that particular issue? You ask me. I believe that the, our candidate, Elijah Tukobaka, has actually touched on it. He says, and we all know to choose a vice presidential uh, vice, vice to you or to work with you is your choice, a prerogative. Every other person that was, you know, uh, nominated, capable, Chief uh, Governor Wilson Wiki, a respectable man, someone who's a party man, strong, someone who is a mobilizer, or dumb. All men in their own rights are capable. But then, choice is choice. It is choice, so we, we should be able to respect that and then work together. I don't think that the issue with uh, our vice presidential candidate is at the bottom of this. Probably, the way things were handled, who knows? But I believe that uh, there, are, there, are, there are people who will be happy to see crisis, but I can tell you, they won't see crisis in PDP. They are just trying to, you know, uh, kind of uh, light up uh, the situation to make it look like PDP is crashing. Like today, Governor Luke said that nobody can manipulate, manipulate the party from, from, from the center and come in to River State and think they can get the, uh, what is it called, the seat of power from PDP. That tells you the personality of Wiki. And the fact that he's a PDP man, he cannot afford, he cannot afford to trade away the investment he has, he has put in PDP over the years. No, no party man should do that. Even should Bobby George, I believe, be able to tag along and also be able to work together with people in Lagos, with the national, to ensure that we resolve this amicably. There is, there is no need for, for any uh, blowing out the issues out of proportion. So for me, I, I believe at the end of the day, uh, we're going to come out strong. We're going to come out better, more united, because our, our, our issues will have been resolved uh, amicably. Delta, Delta uh, governor being the vice presidential candidate is, a very, is, a, is, a, is also a perfect choice. All of them good in their own right, and it's good in his own right. A performer to, to the core, a strategist, cool-headed. They're all there. Everybody has his own advantages. But to me, for me, all our candidates that were nominated were, were viable, good to run the country with that but the choice still remains with it.
let's look at some of the demands that the WK um, team uh, rolled out well, before the weekend. Um, I, I, from off the top of my head, um, they asked that the Achiku Abubakar candidacy run for just a term. They also asked for the removal of the party chairman and a couple of other things. But let's, I, I'm stuck at the first one where the candidate is being asked to run for four years. Uh, how fair do you think that this um, demands are? And again, is this in the best interest of the party? <laughs> to run for a four-year term, or for, for one term, for me, I believe we should get to the bridge before we cross it. We have men of sensibility uh, that will discuss this, a different uh, structure of the party, and at the end of the day, I think they, they know what best to do. And uh, that, for me, will suffice. I cannot actually uh, dwell on it. I can actually come to a conclusive end to what their demands are. But I guess I'm sorry, everything if about you were a presidential candidate, oh, if, you, if you were an Atiku Abubakar, you were the party flag bearer, and and these demands were presented to you. Let's let's role play now. And I were a governor wiki, and and my team is saying these are our demands for us to feel like we were not cheated out of the vice presidency um, ticket. Um, how well will this go down with you? And what would be your response, diplomatically, of course? Well, I will tell them only God owns life. How many of those know how we're going, we're going to live for four years? That's it for me. Interesting. Um, <laughs> let's quickly talk about the PDP in Lagos. Now, um, Many would say what um, the elections come 2023 for the governorship in Lagos uh, might be a two-horse race, uh, even though there seems to be a Labour Party sticking its head also out there for the elections. But let's talk about the situation within the PDP in Lagos. Now, there's also some infighting. Uh, apparently, many have moved to the Labour Party because... Uh, they have decried the fact that an outsider, an APC, former APC member, uh, has been shipped into the party and given the, uh, the governorship ticket, which has aggrieved many members, and some have left, some are yet to leave. Um, what do you think the party should be doing in dealing with this issue, being that the PDP has been playing opposition for far too long, and um, they have been saying that this year they want to take over power? But how will the PDP be doing that if they're fighting within themselves? Well, I can tell you, PDP are not fighting within themselves in Lagos. Right? Now, the candidate from get-go, after the primaries, went to all stakeholders to meet them for reconciliation, for mediate, for, for, for what, I, what I call a, a, a next step to take. And from all indication, they are all in tune with him. But you see, you know, in politics, which is of self-interest, sometimes when you lose, you kind of feel hot because you invested a lot. Don't forget, it is in the interest of Lagos politicians to know that this is a time for the party to get out of opposition. Because the candidate we have there, Dr. Awolajide, popularly known as John Don, this is a man that is knows what he's doing he's a man that is ready to condescend to anyone and a man that is ready to say enough to the ruling party that is the hegemony of uh, the Tinubu, uh i call it uh hegemony now if you look at it for me looking at uh, people that left the party i can say they should have been magnanimous even in, in losing the ticket, how it is in what you work together, when you put hands together, that you can defeat your common enemies. You don't go to a place in which you're just going to start afresh. PDP has a structure already. PDP has has a, that has a, the, the 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 grip already. So for me, I see it as something that they work out together. They should have stayed back, work it out together. And for, for someone that left from, from the party to the other party and say that uh, part, uh, the party uh, is full of injustice, 
people, someone that left the party from PDA, uh, PDP, went to contest as a governor, came back, and was given a senatorial ticket, is given to Labour Party. Come off it. Come off it. Let's be fair. When people are, want to go into go into leaving the party, it should be fair enough. PDP has given everybody a level playing field. So we should look at it as something that we should work together. Because getting APC out of Lagos is a paramount, paramount thing to do right now. And to tell you, I was telling someone today that PDP is like a training. A, we are trainers. We train them, they leave, they go there, they see that we are better, they come back again. And now they will come back, and what happens at the end of the day? John Don, that we have in Lagos, is a united, is a uniting force that can actually give us. Before we're doing 35 percent, now he's bringing his 25 percent, that's 55 percent. No, I can tell you that Lagos is ready for us, right? For us to take fresh breath. That is where we, we, we are giving Lagos. And don't forget, you can do where Funke came from, or his form rather. Uh, it's the same place where some of these are people came from. <laughs> now you find that, that uh, probably they are threats about her popularity. I don't know. But one thing I'm very sure is this Lagos is right for PDP to take. How will the PDP ever be able to wrestle power from the ruling APC? Because we hear, I, I'm sorry, but I seem to hear this all the time. Every election cycle, the PDP is ready. We have the structure. We have the people. We've done this. We're fair. We're just. And we end up seeing the APC win again. Now, there's, a lot, there's been a lot more talk here in Lagos again with Jandor saying, oh, he will be, he's the man. Um, there's also, you know, people criticizing his running mate and his decision for who he's taken as a running mate. That's on the one hand. But will the PDP survive 2023 in Lagos? And how will they be able to wrestle that power off the uh, ruling? PDP party? will survive it. PDP will, will be in Alausa. I can guarantee you that. You know why? People are tired. People are tired of one man running show in Lagos. It's no longer a miracle. It's not fresh breath. Funke, in our own right, has all the quality to be a leader. So, to, to tell you this, and it's strange that some women will come on, on, on line and say, oh, Funke is, um, is a woman. But how will she uh, play out as, a, as a, an administrator? Don't forget, this is a lady that have run programs over time in TV, award winner. It's, it's not a mice, it's not, it's not a, uh, a child's play. It's not a child's play. So for her, in her, in her own right, as a lawyer, she has a capacity to bring on the table what can governize Lagos to the next, to the next stage in development. And don't forget, John Don as a person is a grassroots person. He wants to, he wants the grassroots to feel governors. In Lagos, there is the grassroots that don't feel governors. They don't, they are not feeling governors. It's only at the center or the, for, the, for the high class. Now, John don't want to blend it to that look. Also, the people at the grassroots should feel governors. And I believe the more, if, if the people at the grassroots can feel governors, then the people high up there will be at peace. There are so many programs that are so laudable that uh, John Don is bringing on board to get to ensure that the, the, the grassroots feel governors. Right now, nothing like governance in the grassroots. Go there and see what's happening in Lagos. And you tell me that whether what uh, APC have been doing in 23 years who is right. PDP is coming with Jandon to give us fresh breath in Lagos. And I can show you all has are on there. I can, even some APC guys are calling me. Look, you know what? We're ready for this guy. We're tired of one man sitting in one corner giving orders. This time around, Beavers is at, at, at work. No more rigging. So the rigging they used to do before is out of it. So Beavers will come to our aid and Lagos is for the taking for Jandon. Finally, you, the PDP always boasts of having the grassroots and, and we saw, I always like to use the Lagos state just concluded local government election as a, a point of reference. We saw almost no, no, no turnout for that local government election, yet the PDP claims the grassroots. How many seats were, was the PDP able to win in Lagos State? And, and what does that say about your grassroots touch? Are you losing it? We're not losing it. The way the election 
runs. It's, most time is a state that runs local government elections. And you know what happens. Most people are not actually interested in what goes on at the local government level. But let's take that out. We're concentrating on the center, which is the seat of power, where governors really come, transcend to the grassroots. So when we we'll get it there, we'll get it at the grassroots. Because that's okay, the point. You're concentrating right now, at the center at the detriment of those who need government most, which are the people at the grassroots, the people who mostly show up for elections. You're telling me that you're more concerned about the center as opposed to these people who need the center, government more. Center, center, center. As a, we have, we will have be able to transmit what the programs of the party to the grassroots. Don't forget, at the grassroots, at local government elections, states run it to the detriment of other parties. So Lagos State has been like that. They appoint people there because they are in control of the states of the of the state. Uh, uh, what's it called? Of the state uh, parties. Uh, what's it called? electoral uh, structure so they can run it to, to defeat themselves to get their own end but this time around i can tell you that we're ready the grassroots is with us to take over alausa the party is ready and our candidate is quite ready for that i can guarantee you well, I want to say thank you, John Schreiber, who is a member of the People's Democratic Party, and he joined us live from Abuja. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right. And that's it on the show tonight. I want to thank you all for being part of the program. We will be back tomorrow with more political stories. And, of course, we're always talking for development. But don't forget, if you missed parts of the show, you can go and watch again on our YouTube. It's uh, Plus TV Africa uh, on YouTube. And don't forget, you can also subscribe and like our pages on YouTube, which is Plus TV Africa Lifestyle and Plus TV Africa. I am Mary Anakon. I'll see you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Have a good evening.